Hello, Jeff. Hello, Mo. You ready to go to work? Yeah, I reckon so. What are we working on? Car PM9. I started Gun Blast as a hobby, you know, just because I was interested in guns and, and wanted to do it. I never, never imagined at first that it was going to uh, make us any money. I'm not aware of anybody that was doing it before we were. And it's nice to be in on the front end of it. As you can see, this little car did just what I was supposed to. Back in 2000, I was reading a uh, reading a gun magazine, you know, paper magazine. Which some of them are good, some of them are just advertising. The one I was reading was just fluff. It'd be an article on a piece of crap gun, and across the page is a full page ad for the same gun. So I asked Bogue, I said, Bogue, this is a bunch of crap. I said, if I can write about a gun, can you put it on the internet thing? He figured since a new boy ran a computer, I ought to be able to figure it out. He's had computers since the Commodore 64. You know, so he's been in it a long time. He said, sure, we can do that. First pretty good bit of reviews that we did were just guns that we already owned. I started shooting and writing and taking pictures and I uh, sent them to Bose and he'd somehow get it on the internet. I don't know how that works, but it works. So he said to me all these pictures of him shooting this gun without a shirt. I'm like, Jeff, don't you think you ought to put a shirt on? You know, we don't want to be that kind of internet site. So <laughs> we had to reshoot some of those pictures. Yeah, Jeff's a big Harley guy. You know, he's, he's owned, I think, 16 or 18 Harleys over the years. And he'll ride out to South Dakota to Sturgis and he'll ride down to Daytona, ride up to Milwaukee to the Harley plant up there. And, you know, he, he just goes whenever he wants to. Yeah, we went to our first SHOT Show as Gun Blast in the early 2000s. Nobody had any idea what we were doing. A couple of the gun companies, I won't mention them here, but they would look at me like there was something wrong with me. They're looking at us like we just crawled up out of the woods or something, and they never heard of this internet thing. Ruger and Smith & Wesson, they was on board right from the beginning. They were probably the first ones to figure out that the internet wasn't just an overnight sensation. They would loan us guns, and we would keep them, you know, 30 days, send them back to them. I was really bad about sending them a check instead, you know. We finally got, got around to where we had a few people contacting us that they was enjoying the reviews and that sort of thing, but it took a little while to get up and running. How much ammo do you think you have here? I don't know how much ammo I got. You can't have too much ammo. Okay, want to get some shooting first? Me and my brother Bogues worked together great on Gun Blast. <laughs> Even before we started Gun Blast, we were in the construction business together. We put windows in Air Force bases and stuff like that. Uh, we got another brother, older brother Greg, sells our advertising so it keeps money coming in. I think one of the things that really really put us where we are is that people instinctively trust Jeff. I love reviewing guns. Uh, one reason is they're still made well. People that accuse me of every time I write about something, they say, I cost them money, but that's good. You buy good guns, they'll outlast your grandkids. Smith & Wesson had me up their factory and I was sitting there chewing on their steak they'd bought me and they said, uh, we would like to put an ad on your website, you know? And I said, well, I never thought about that. I said, y'all are good guys. I guess I guess that would be good. And he said, what would that cost? So I thought, I'm gonna shoot this old boy a high price and make him a deal, you know? So I said, $7,500, he said, we'll take it. So that was easy. So then we had other gun companies contact us, say, you know, you're letting them advertise, can we advertise too? So money started coming in and I kept spending it and it's worked out really well. My brother, Jeff, He's a different kind of fella. I live uh, about 300 yards from where I was born. You know, hadn't gotten very far in life. My mom still lives across the road from me. Hi, Mom. You doing good this morning? Moms and dads don't last forever, so I like seeing her as often as I can. I get to see my grandkids every day. They, all through the week, their dad works nights, so they sleep here, they eat here, and they play here, and we have a good time. You know, he raises his cattle, grows his peppers, and makes his hot sauce, and plays with the kids, and shoots, and goes around the old country seeing people, and he, you know, he just has a good time. Yeah, when we first started, um, I didn't know how big the internet was, but Bogues told me one day that we'd hit 8,000 hits that day, and I thought, you know, can't get any bigger than this. It's funny to think about it now, that it was a big deal back then, because we're up in the millions every day now. It got to where I had to make a choice, the gun thing or the, or the window thing, and it wasn't a hard choice. You know, it was a no-brainer for us. Gun Blast was going great, so we both just dropped our other gig and just did Gun Blast from then on, and we haven't looked back. I got it made. You know, I can't, can't think of anybody I would rather be 
than me. It's, it's, it's good being me. We got a great life here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade places with anybody in the world except my wife's got this little white dog. It's the only thing I know has got it better than I do. Gun Blast worked well for us for the last 18 years. I plan to keep doing this, you know, as long as I can. As long as my eyesight holds up and I can keep pulling triggers, I'm gonna keep going.